next guest is a comedian. Uh, thank God, because we need one round here. Uh, <laughs> His new show opens September the 7th at the Palace Station Casino in Las Vegas. Please welcome the hilarious Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I wish there was an... I, I was on the phone today and I was looking for an app for when you get older. <laughs> I was thinking that would be really nice because I just turned 57 and 57, you just, I remember when my parents turned 50, we used to stare at them. <laughs> it won't be long now. <laughs> and no one warned you, you know, things you can't do after you turn 50, like you can't open anything. <laughs> You have to wait till people stop over the house. Oh my God, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Listen, can you open this stuff on the table for me? Start with the scissors. They're in some sort of plastic. I've cut the hell out of my hand. Trying to open. And you should get a new watch at 50, because time moves so fast. People are always coming up to me. Louie, what'd you do today? It's over? <laughs> I had some soup. <laughs> That's another thing you want after 50. Are you hungry, Louie? Is there any soup? <laughs> and could you open it, please? <laughs> I used to be able to drive with one finger. Now people honk at me. I'm that guy. Beep! What the heck did I... Oh, I'm going seven. <laughs> Seven seems fast. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm out driving and I'll think to myself, huh, where am I off to? <laughs> I gotta do that fake call home. Hey, you want anything when I'm over there? At the dentist? <laughs> Thank you. I'll get you some flaws. The worst thing is I'm blind now. I mean, I can see all of you, but I can't read anything. You know, I have to wear little glasses. And I never have them. Where are you, Louie? I'm at the hotel. Well, what's your number there on the phone? Son of a... Oh, here it is. Seven? <laughs> My God, there's a W in it. <laughs> Are they putting letters back in the numbers again? <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> the worst is the cell phone with the caller ID. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Adolf Hitler. <laughs> That maniac get a hold of my number. <laughs> oh, that's going to voicemail. He's a talker. <laughs> People text me now. I text them back. Halfway through my text back, they text me again. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I call them. Hey, I need more time. <laughs> and thanks is not spelled with an X. I'll tell you, the first time I got a text from a friend, I went, look how dumb he is. <laughs> no word over three letters. Look how he spells my name. L-O-L. -L. Good Thank to see you. So much. Hello, 
are you? I'm great. You sound great. You've given yourself I'm a terribly great. hard time about getting older. I don't, you look I great. Know. You look I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm yeah? good. Yeah. You have a nice time in Vegas. Is your arm better? Oh, no. It's it's actually it's still. Whole, thank you for yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah. I saw you last night and I said, oh, my God. No, I had a terrible fall and I yeah. hurt my arm. And, and Marion Cotillard was here from France and didn't even mention it. No. <laughs> French. That's the French, French for you. Yeah. 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 Have you ever ever been over there in France? I went once. I took my mom. We were in London. Right. I said, Mom, do you want to go to uh, Paris for lunch? And she goes, I suppose. <laughs> and, you know, Midwestern mom. So we went to France. And See it was, any uh, underpants? Uh, <laughs> just my mom. So right, were, right. You know, they're the big ones. <laughs> they fit well, though. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> but the funniest thing was my mom couldn't get any ice. In, in France? There's no ice for the water. No, they don't do it's ice not, a lot. Yeah, no. she was very upset. Can you believe a place like this doesn't even have ice? <laughs> and butter. She wanted butter all the time. They have butter in France. They, they have butter, butter, but it wasn't the butter she wanted. Ah. Well, There's like a different color butter over there, but... Well, they, what you've run into there, Louis, is a culture different from your own. You should yes. try their try their butter. Yeah, I did try it. And and well, yeah. <laughs> this is all French right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I feel your pain. <laughs> now, where are you? Where are you in Vegas now? You're at the Palace, the Palace Theater. Palace Station. I'll Palace be there Station. September seventh. I'm. For, I'm still at the Excalibur for two more weeks. So. Now, when you play at the Excalibur, do you have to dress up in medieval costumes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the horses don't like to see me come, though. Yeah. <laughs> Although I always wanted to be a jockey. <laughs> yeah, too tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no. I couldn't help. But, no, no, you're all right. Yeah. So the, pal the palace station, is that a station? It is. Um, well, I didn't think there was any trains in Vegas. Well, they have the Boulder Station, the Palace Station. It's part of the Red Rock and Green Valley Ranch and all those those yeah. places. But there's yeah, no actual right. station. There's not like a no, train station. No, there's, there's no it. station. Yeah. But I'll have my own showroom, which is what I wanted. Wow. Which I hope you'll come and play. No. No. <laughs> no, because it'll, it'll be yours. I can't come there. It'll yeah, be but I don't, I'm lazy. I would love to have you. <laughs> So You're a you, great comedian. I don't think people realize how funny you no, are. No, they don't. Uh, sadly, yeah. they don't. They don't. Well, I, I mean, you're funny here. But you're funny. I mean, you're just so great. You're so great. I've been watching you lately, and I went, oh, much funnier than I thought. <laughs> no, but I don't mean that no, in a bad no, way. No, but I, I, I wish mean, you'd spread the word. I I'm think so, too. Everyone. Yeah. In France, you're going to be huge. I'm big in France. Well, in in France, you have to be a lot more visual with your comedy. Yeah, you know, a lot and of have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. Luke. Well, I had a great time. Well, I had a great time too. Yeah. yeah. Always great to see you. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it, always a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. This is my first time, but it's the first time we met. Yeah. I hope but, I come uh, back. Then. But in showbiz years, that means we're really good friends. Yeah. We've known each other forever. Well, comics like each other. Yes, they tend to. Well, they don't like anything else. No, they don't no, like no, anything they else. Don't. They don't. No, it's You true. know what one of my favorite things about your show is? is, this is none of this is scripted. It's fresh. It's real. It is? It's great. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah. No, we do. It's try and, we try and, uh, we try and uh, economize. Uh, <laughs> and the awkward... Awkward, you fancy an awkward pause? Yeah, I'd love oh, one. Oh, yeah. good for you. All right. All right, then, we'll do an awkward pause. Get yourself situated. All right. All right. <laughs> Ready? And we'll, go, we'll do awkward pause all the way to commercial break. Oh, you've started. Good. Um, <laughs> I'll be a bit needy at first, and then calm down. My next guest performs nightly at the Palace Station Casino in Las Vegas. He's got a new CD. It's called Louis Anderson Live. That's a clue to who he is. <laughs> 
It's available on iTunes, this CD, um, and also in... Uh, it, did you hear that there? The air conditioning went on? Is that the first time ever? <laughs> well, a red-lettered day indeed. Not only air conditioning, but the fantastic Louis Anderson, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm trying to be a healthier person. I, I'm working out now. I go to Anytime Fitness sometimes. The first week I worked out, I gained four pounds. I yelled at the trainer, I gained, I gained four pounds. He goes, don't worry about it, Louie, it's normal. We're building your core. Well, when do we work on the outer crust? <laughs> I love to eat, that's my problem. I love sweets. You know these donut shops? What cartel brought them into the country? <laughs> you don't even know you've eaten the first one. <laughs> A dingo took my donut! <laughs> And the ice cream places, oh my God, so many choices. You want a cup or a cone? Crush a cone up and put it in the cup. <laughs> what size you want? Grand Canyon. <laughs> you want Butterfinger in there? Yeah, and don't forget his sister, Baby Ruth. <laughs> you want us to crush a brownie in there? Do it! <laughs> That'll be $85. <laughs> I'll take it. Crush a brownie in there, I should say so. I'm on a food plan now where they deliver my food. I'm up to next Monday. <laughs> I wish that were a joke. I try to always order healthy. You know, you go into the restaurant. Could I get a grilled chicken and a steamed broccoli? You want something on that broccoli? Steam? <laughs> you want some cheddar on there? Yeah. <laughs> Steam it, though. I love to eat at movies, because you could eat in the dark. No one knows what you're eating. <laughs> I went to that Twilight movie, and... Well, I'm gonna do the whole movie for you. <laughs> it's about a girl who fell in love with a vampire and a wolf. So here it is. Edward, the vampire. <laughs> I don't think we could be together. <laughs> Bella, well, why can't we be together? I don't think it's gonna work out. Well, why not? Because I'll rip your throat out. You won't rip my throat out. I don't have a very good track record. Well, maybe I want you to rip my throat out. You say that now. But what about in 200 years? And then Jacob comes in, the wolf, I'll rip somebody's throat out. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at you. Was it good? Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Take a seat. Thank you. No, it's fine. It's good to see you. Let me, here, let me, let me get this right. Yeah, Thank no, you. it's good. Thank you. Good. I can't Thank believe you. you're going to see the Twilight movies with a... Well, I uh, was talked into it. I was talked into it. I wanted to see somebody who'd get killed, but... And they promised me there'd be a lot of killing. So. You live in Vegas. You can see someone get killed anywhere Anyone you like. Yes. You don't need to go Thank to the... At the movie, there's not a two-drink minimum. Yeah, all right. <laughs>
Hey, do you uh, do you got a lot of people coming to visit you when you're in Vegas? Whenever I'm in Vegas, I always suddenly have family members yes. turning up, like Aunt, you know, Judy or something yeah. like that. You, know? you always get that call. Hey, uh, we're thinking about coming out and visiting you. Yeah, well, think again. Where do you take them? Do you take, do you, do you uh, like, you're sure? I'm past sure? taking them places. You don't I take them anywhere? Just get the free tickets for them. That's what they want. They, <laughs> they act like they want to see you, but they don't really they want to. They don't want to see you want free tickets? They just want you the go tickets. And, go and see the uh, Cirque du Soleil. Go and see I the... I uh, saw O recently. What's that? That's the water one. The water one, yeah. I haven't seen that one. So yeah. French Canadians bending and stretching yes, in water. And stretching and running and jumping and oh, it's way up high and then jumping in. And oh no! Yeah. yeah. But they don't feed them any fish. Just humans doing Just it. Humans doing it. Oh, that it. sounds it's ghastly. No fun yeah, yeah, no, it sounds awful. Well, you could. Hey, it was Marty Allen who you were thinking of. Oh, the guy the on. Guy uh, who, uh, who was, do we have a? You, know Marty Allen? you have a picture of Marty Allen. Oh yeah. yeah. Hello there! That's and what he used to always say, remember? What? Hello, Hello there! there! Yeah. Wait, he probably didn't always say that. Like if someone uh, said to him, you want a salad or yeah, something no, like that, he wouldn't yeah, go, no. Hello there! Oh, yeah. A salad there! Yeah. <laughs> you have a picture of Kim Jong Il? <laughs> yeah. I suppose Angry it does lesbian, look. Yeah, it does look. Yeah. I think Marty Allen looks. Uh, let me see. Yeah! <laughs> I guess. I think he was in Twilight. It looks a bit twilight. Yeah. Do you like the? I I don't care for the vampire movies. The uh, you know I really did go with some friends. They really wanted to see it, but right. I. I, I like I do like vampire movies. I, I normally like vampire yeah, movies, but not that that particular. No one, vampire no. movies, but you just did it. I don't think yeah. we can be together. Vampires yeah, don't yeah, talk like yeah, that. Yeah, no. They're like I want to uh, suck your blood. Uh, 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 remember the, the old vampire yeah, movie? Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, that's the way to uh, do it. Yes. Uh, uh, and then the and the people would float towards them. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you remember the one uh, that was on TV, Salem's Lot, the one that was on TV? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, it was That's scary. That's when they floated outside yeah. the window. Ooh. <laughs> Is that Louis Anderson floating outside my window? <laughs> no, These sorry, drugs man. are working. <laughs> it's what kicking in you? now. Louis Anderson's outside the window. Yeah, I... Um I really, I didn't really, I mean, I didn't hate the movie, but I didn't oh, love I, it. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, I it watched it. <laughs> I watched it because I, I, I was I trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice I've about been it. in movies where nobody went to see it or hated it, and so yeah. I always think well, of no, that. Well, no, a lot of people have gone to see these movies and love them. Yeah, I they just love them, personally yeah. don't. But I, I, I've noticed that I don't like thing, most things that other people like, uh, like a lot of people like. Like a lot of people like the vampire movies. I don't like them. Yeah. A lot of people like, um... Dancing with the Stars. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't care for that either. No. A lot of people like the American Idol. Don't care for it. No. What do you like? <laughs> Aunt Judy. I think that's yeah. better. You know, it's really great, though, you know, to be in that position to have a new show on TV and then to have your relatives come. Because that's when you're famous. You're not famous to people until... Their friends think you're famous. You're right, yeah. <laughs> you know, I your look mom. forward to that day. <laughs> <I tell you. laughs> mm. You know, when your mom says, hey, she thinks you're funny. <laughs> and you go, well, I'm funny. Well, I just didn't realize you were that funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're at time, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to do another awkward pause? You did, yeah, I'd love it. I'd love it. Good. Yeah, you ready? Awesome. Yeah, all right. You want a harmonica or non harmonica awkward pause? Whatever you prefer. All right, we'll try, we'll try harmonica, see, see, see how we do. No. <laughs> that lad added awkwardness. One of my favorite comedians is a very, very funny man. He's uh, on uh, March the 5th at the Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. <laughs> Please.
please welcome back to the show the lovely Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Thank you. So I just got back from Minnesota. I had to get out of there before someone asked me to shovel. <laughs> Don't shovel. You can have a heart attack. That's what I always tell people. I had a heart episode. That means, when they call it a heart episode, it means you have really good insurance. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and I went, oh, I didn't eat at the big taco. <laughs> So I went to the hospital. I didn't know this, when you get to the emergency room, if you say, fat guy, chest pains, you're in. You're right to the head of the line. What about the guy with no head? We got a bucket of ice coming out for him. And the nurse takes me in a room and she goes, here, put this on. And what? <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I, when I get left alone in the hospital room, I look for stuff to steal. <laughs> What's in here? Gauze? You can never have enough gauze. <laughs> and these are the good gauze. <laughs> and the doctor came in. You're worried, you know? And he came in. He goes, you didn't have a heart attack. I go, that's good. Can you pass me those tacos? <laughs> He goes, but we think you've got some blockage. Oh, you know about that? <laughs> he goes, I knew you'd get it. He goes, we'd like to do an angioplasty on you. Oh no, my breasts are big enough. I just named him. I go, what's an angioplasty? He goes, well, we take a wire, we go in through your groin. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> and you agree to do it, because they dope you up. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. <laughs> and you get to the angioplasty room, you lay on the table, it's an amazing time we live in. I look up, there's my heart on a monitor. I knew it was my heart too, because that thing was wrapped in bacon. <laughs> and I had two blocked arteries, and the doctor comes in, he goes, you see your arteries? Yeah. He goes, do you know which ones are blocked? You don't know? <laughs> Listen, if you're not sure. So he headed towards my groin. He was feeding the wire in. That or there was a puppet show going on. You shut up. No, you shut up. And the wire goes up and you get excited when it shows up on the... You're in! But my arteries would not let that wire go in. He tried it 30 or 40 times. I finally said to him, Doc, what's up? He goes, Mr. Anderson, I'm going to get a colleague. I don't care if you get a shepherd. I hear labs are good dogs. So, so the guy that's the head of angioplasty comes in. You never want to hear this. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what is it, Doc? He goes, you're still bleeding. I'm still bleeding? Listen, if you need them, I've got gauze in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. My dear. Thank you. It's lovely to see you, Mike. Nice to see you.
I'm horrified to hear about your heart episode. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. They fixed me all up. The yeah. doctor just checked my heart. He said it looks fantastic. Well, that's good. I'm, yeah. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I mean, thank you. Are, thank you, you. are you going around? Where are you at? The Wild Horse Casino? The... Yes. Tomorrow night I'm at uh, Wise Guys in Ogden, Utah. Right. I'm going to see the Mormons, and then I'm going to see the horses. <laughs> Do you do a lot of horse riding yourself? Well, you know, I always wanted to be a jockey. Uh. <laughs> Too tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I, no, when I head towards the horses, they duck. <laughs> They're trying to avoid eye contact with the... <laughs> Oh, no, no. Well, keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Have you been touring around? I have. I've been working on a brand new hour of material. That's some of it. Nice. And you know, I just thought I love doing stand up. I was yeah. in uh, Florida. I like Florida. You gotta be yeah. careful down there, though. Yes, they're yeah. gators. They're waters? Gators. Gators, yes. They and I'm not talking about the team. No, no they, you actually, you, well, they're not that dangerous, gators. You, Listen, I Stay was, to the populated let, areas, you'll be all right. Let me tell you, we were there. I was pumping gas because I lost the bet. And. <laughs> I looked over in a canal, you and there was a gas gate. near a canal. Well, you know there are canals everywhere. There. All right, okay, All right. right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not making it up. Okay, but now I'll look into that. No, right, yeah, no, because it's, it's dangerous to pump gas well, near a canal. I said, "Isn't that a gator?" And my friend goes, "Yeah, they can run 35 miles an hour." <laughs> so I said, "You top it off. <laughs> I'm gonna get back in the car." Because I cannot run 35 miles an hour. No, nobody can run 30. Are you sure they can run 35 can miles run an hour? Because they would... 30, 35 miles an hour. In a he says, though, to me, yeah. you don't have to worry. Because they can only run in a straight line. Oh, there you are, then. You... Yeah, he yeah. said you got to zig, and then you're going to zag. No, don't do that. Because if you zig, and it's going forward, when you zag, it'll be waiting yeah. for you. What took you so long? That's a worry. I, I, so you've been down in Florida doing that. Do you know where you should go in Florida? I, I want to go to the uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh my God, Did we you went go? there. Yes, we. Did have, you really? I have friends. They have a kid, and that's what you do when people have kids. You go to where they're gonna go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I'm trying to talk my kids into going one day. Your nine, kids day. will love that. You know, I, I was a little cynical about it, but it's first of all, wherever there's a castle. You could get a turkey leg. That's true. That's true. You don't even need a castle like Medieval yeah. Times. Yes. If you go to Medieval Times... You get a turkey leg. Yes! It's you... the only time when anyone says, do you want to get a turkey leg? Yeah! And you're I... standing around, you're eating the turkey leg, and... Did you ever go to Medieval Times? I love I Medieval did, Times. I did, I did. You go there, and then the uh, the wench comes over yes. and goes, would my lord like Pepsi? <laughs> Coke, depending on who's advertising tonight. But then, uh, <laughs> would my lord like a soda advertised on CBS? <laughs> but it's nice and they it's get fun. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And, you and don't they get... joust and. Really? They joust at Harry Potter? Yeah. No, no, no. At medieval times. Oh, medieval times, oh. yeah. No, I was going to say. Uh, because, no, yeah. uh, Harry Potter is really a magnificent thing. They must have spent a billion dollars. Do you read the, the books pictures, or the movies? No, or? but everybody's. Stayed on the movie for 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I've, when you're, I've, you know, I've read when the you're books. Doing, the books yeah. are fantastic. Yeah, it's really amazing. I mean, it was really beautiful. And you had butter beer. They had butter beer. Butter beer, you say? Yes. What's that? It's no beer in it. It's kind of like butterscotch. Yeah. With a foam on the top. Sounds like a root beer to me. Oh, it's thicker than. It's like drinking butter. You can only take two drinks, and then you. <laughs> you said Sounds it. like a challenge there, <laughs> big fella. <laughs> And you're trying to pawn it off on people. Do you want some butter beer? Yeah, yeah. Have my butter no, beer. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. butter beered out. Uh, well, it's, listen, it's, it's lovely to see you. Thank and, you and so I'm, much. And I'm very happy that you're back on the show and that your heart's in good shape. Yes, but it is. Maybe want to lay off the butter beer a little All bit. All right, I will. Yeah. <laughs> the lovely Louis Anderson, everybody. Where we're at. Welcome back. My, my next guest, to my knowledge, has never had sex with a raft. <laughs> but he's a very funny comedian. Whoa, that'll be an interesting change on this show. Shut up! In her voice. The hell's going on? No, no, no. 
Anyway, my next guest is a very funny comedian. He's on every Tuesday through Saturday at the Louis Anderson Theater at the Palace Station in Las Vegas. That's a clue to who he is. <laughs> Great. I love this oh, outfit. I, thank you. I tell you what, you know what you should do? This outfit I love so much, you should wear this outfit and come back on the show in a couple of weeks and do some stand -up. I will. I yeah. Will. I'd love to. I'm working on a thing about airports right do now. Do a thing about airports that'll because be that, yeah. that'll work out. I actually, that's a Rolling Stones tie, isn't it? It is, it's, it is. I don't know if it's their tie, but... Oh, they don't wear ties. They can't be tamed. Oh, that's true. No, yeah. they, they don't have time for ties. You know, when, whenever you hear a Rolling Stones song, you just you think you want to see them again. I mean, if you love the you, Rolling you, Stones. You, 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 no, I, I do, actually. Yeah. I've seen them live quite a lot. But yeah. as the years go by and I see them I, uh, more, I'm kind of like... <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder if people feel that way about me at times. No way, man. <laughs> haven't even peaked yet. Yeah, no. that's what I'm worried about. Are, are you still, are you still on the road? Are you, are I am you? on the road. Well, you know, I leave about once a month to go do gigs here and there, usually following you. You're, you were just in Seattle, or you were, when I was there at some Seattle, point? Seattle, yeah, Seattle. I, there. I was there recently. Um, you have to go to Canada a lot, do you? Yeah, I was just in Winnipeg, and then I'm going to Edmonton. Oh, these are the, these are the glamour cities of Yeah. Canada, you know, <laughs> These, are, These the, are the ones I'm getting booked in. Yeah, no, I tell you. Some folks talk about yeah. the Torontos and yeah. the Quebecs and the Vancouver's, but, oh, man. I no. go Edmonton. Edmonton, Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Regina. Regina. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a raft story, isn't it? Yeah, well. Actually, it's a landlocked uh, area. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. Have you ever enjoyed boating, if you know what I mean? Uh... You know, I went canoeing once in the Boundary Waters. It was quite oh, wow. a... I was over 300 pounds, and the person, I said to the person, listen, I think canoeing is not good for me. I mean, I like the idea of it, but I'm not a, a swimmer. I'm, you know... <laughs> I mean, the water was just right... We were on, you know, we were... <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> that's, was, that's what happens in a canoe, no matter yeah. who you are. You know, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you get in the canoe and the water's right there. Now you fight. <laughs> I mean, if you get in the canoe and the water isn't there, then you're wasting your time, frankly. <laughs> what about the, uh, do you worry about sharks? No, no. Not, not in Winnipeg, actually, obviously. The, but, uh, actually, the animals, when I go camping, worry about me. <laughs> they put their food up in the trees. <laughs> You set me yeah, up. There you go. Yeah. You know, that's one of my very first jokes. That was one yeah, of your first jokes? Very first joke. I like it. That is nice. Yeah. When did you start writing jokes then? Uh, in 1978. Wow. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> You're a great joke teller. No, no, man. No? No, no. I, think... I, I, got, I got a robot and a glamorous set. Hey, hey, uh, <laughs> my, you know, people uh, uh, put on my Facebook to say hi to Jeff from, uh, from uh, Bend, Oregon. Or Have you ever you ever been to Bend, Oregon? Oh yeah, I've been to Bend, Oregon, yeah. <laughs> and that's code. Uh, <laughs> it was Michael. Michael said to say hi. Michael in Bend, Oregon. Do you remember Michael in Bend? Oh Oregon? yeah, I remember Michael. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he works at a sporting goods store. He works at oh, I think he rafts. Raft, he sells yeah. rafts. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> You know, uh, let me give you a piece of advice. I know you didn't ask and you don't yeah, need it, but never I get a robot. Yeah, you never know, get you, a no. Robot. Stick to stand up on your own. Once you introduce technology, things get weird. Yeah, it's been good. It's good though. I, yes, I it's, it's all right. But it's a little much, right? Well, you know, when we get asked to go to events together, yeah, it's annoying. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there a switch though? Yes, there is. Uh, yeah. yeah. You don't get that in a double yeah, act. You know. yeah, no. yeah. Were you ever uh, were you ever in a double act at all? I am in a double act. They hang their foot in the trees. All right. I mean, how could you how could I not? Yeah. No, I never wanted to work with anyone else. No. Neither did I. No, you know it's with the stand up thing. You either if you can't get it on your own, I 
As George Miller, a very funny comedian. Yes. Remember George? Yeah, yeah, of course. He, he had a great joke. He goes, I used to like when double acts broke up so I could watch him fail individually. Yeah. <laughs> Something very, um, that's very true about the mindset of a comedian, isn't it? Really? It is, yeah, yeah. There's a part of us that doesn't want anyone to do well. Yeah. <laughs> and that part of us is called us. Us. Yeah. Us. Oh, us. I love us. Are you still enjoying Las Vegas or the old Palace Theater? I am. I am. I love it. I have a great time there. I'm working on new material all the time. What and about you get a special? People... Are you going to do a special? So? I'm going to do a special. Are um, you really? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. going to do a special. It's so funny you would say that. Yeah, yeah. Who... In December. Who, who for? I think, uh, hopefully, the Country Music Channel, because they're the ones doing comedy now. Really? Yeah, there's... there's com <laughs> really, it's true. No, but no I, don't, I don't deny yeah, it. They have mean, all like, the blue-collar guys. That's they have true, all that, yeah, actually. They have yeah, comedy. yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you ever so, see Larry the Cable Guy? Yes, I have. Yeah, you know, he has my favorite joke of the moment. The, his, his joke. It's a, it's a, I don't know if it's an old part of his act, uh -huh. but he has this joke. You know, he does that get her done thing. Get her done. He said, he said, he has this joke where he says, and I'm clearly stealing it, but I'm at least I'm crediting yeah, him for yeah. it, right? He says, he says, I had a girlfriend who was a midget. I was nuts over her. <laughs> Take your round of applause and pass it on to Larry for you. Yeah, you know, comics, It's I can enjoy watching comics all the time. I do enjoy it myself. I think it's yeah, a great, it's, great it's, thing to watch. It's an amazing art form, I think, stand -up. It is. When it's done right, it's just spectacular. And when it's done wrong, it's even more enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when somebody is enjoying well, you can have just as much enjoyment. Yes, you can. <laughs> You can have a feast. Yeah. But I love... We're, we're, oh, yeah, yeah, we're I like of, Vegas. Like I was saying, I'm... Yeah, yeah, good. We're out of working, time. Yeah, yeah. You like Vegas? Good. Yeah, we're out of time. <laughs> Wait, is there something you wanted to plug before you... Yeah. No, I have a new, uh, I have a new uh, special. I, right, right. My very first special is now on iTunes. It's called Mom, Louie's Looking at Me. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Uh, so, uh, but, that's good, though. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball. But to be honest, touch my glittery ball is really a stalking horse. It's not a real option. I always, people always say that the awkward pause... That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do awkward pause with me trying to sneak a look at your genitals. All right. <laughs> well, listen, I'd like to have that same look, so... I haven't seen him in years. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I feel I'm on a fool's errand. I'm the guest host tonight. No. No. What? No, no, he's not. No. You are the voice of the robot tonight. The robot is going under repairs. Uh, for two weeks, different people are doing the voice of the robot. Stop texting me and saying, when's the robot coming back? <laughs> People have your text number? <laughs> you know what I mean, Tweety yeah. and stuff. Anyway, oh, okay, you, right. what happens is we take you backstage and you go into a pod. Okay. Yeah, and in the pod, once you're in the pod, your mind is taken from you and put in, in the body of the robot, like the Vulcan mind okay, melt. You know the Vulcan? You. Yeah, yeah. Right. But you have an added problem. Okay. Because the second guest on the show tonight is my mother-in-law. You. So I'll be real nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, that'll yeah, work yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she wrote a book. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I met her. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. She said anything about me? She 
I, everybody was fawning over her, so I figured you were in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> She's my mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She hates me. She does? I have sex with her daughter. <laughs> I, met, I met her daughter. Very beautiful. What the hell, man? Everybody was in one room. What? Uh, anyway, look, 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 here's the thing. They were you... putting makeup on. <laughs> anyway, look. Okay. Really? Yes. Oh, right. Look, so you go backstage, you go into your pod, okay. pod. and the, 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 the suckers will go in yeah. your head, and then your voice will come out of the robot for the rest of the show. Okay, you got it. Right. And you will be the personality of the robot. I will. Right. Did you, did you get that? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. All right. All right, all right. Did you hear that? Their, oh. their, their breathing became audible. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'd like to get a copy of that. I, I got one here. I'd love it. Yeah. I, also, by the way, here's mm. the thing we're doing on the show. You know how, like, Oprah gives away a car to the audience? Like, everybody in the audience gets a car? Yeah. Well, we're, everybody in the audience gets a free copy of this book tonight. All right. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. That's fantastic. Hey, uh, what? I've got 11 bags of Skittles in my butt. <laughs> Family size or fun size? Halloween size. <laughs> I see. Do you like a big Halloween or do you keep things small? I like colors. Well, great. <laughs> There's nothing for you at this show, then. <laughs> hey, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's time for emails and all that other stuff. <laughs> This is from Morgan in Hutchison, Minnesota. You ever been to Hutchison, uh, Minnesota? Uh, believe it or not, I have been. You have? Uh-huh. What did you... I worked on a pig farm there for a while. <laughs> is that true? I slopped the pigs. You what, the pigs? Slopped them. Swapped them for what? Slopped them. Oh, oh swabbed them. I thought you were saying, hey. Slopped them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you said swapped them. I like, you know, hey, I'll swap uh, you this pig for that car, that kind of thing. <laughs> is that what you did? Yeah, no, I slapped him, but I didn't, I didn't swap him. If you... It was a work release program. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. What I'm saying is, if you had a pig, uh, would you swap it or would you hang on to it? If I was tired of it, I'd swap it. I see, so a pig is just something to be toyed with for you, isn't it? And talk to. All right, uh, Morgan in Hutchison, Minnesota says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I like the teacher's assistant in one of my courses. How can I ask him out without looking like I'm doing it for extra credit? <laughs> you ever been attracted to one of, your, uh, one of your teachers there, Jeff? Yes, the gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is from uh, Chris in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Hey, whoa. <laughs> you ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina? I have not. I've been there. Is it beautiful? Yes, it is. I'd love to go. I'll meet you in the convertible. <laughs> <laughs> this says, Dear Craig and Jeff, have either of you ever considered going into politics after leaving show business? Leaving show business? We're not. I can have a show business? <laughs> What are you talking about? It's a creepy guy in a... Uh -oh. Talking to a skeleton in a basement voiced by Louie Anderson for... Girl with a dragon tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what would you do when you left the show business there, Jeff? I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right.
right, here, this is from uh, KC. Oh, I wonder if it's from KC and the Sunshine Band. Do you remember them? I, I, I opened for them once. <laughs> is Larry that... King came out and talked, and then I did a comedy act. <laughs> and then they sang. Oh, 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 that kind of opening for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Casey. <laughs> Oh, you, you found yeah, that worked for you eventually, did it? All right. Um, well, this I didn't is... know I was supposed to laugh. Well, you know, every little helps is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, KC in Sydney, Australia says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I recently found out my sister had a one-night stand with my best friend. Uh-oh. Is it too awkward to confront them on it? But why the hell would you want to? <laughs> Yeah, live and let live. Yeah, yeah, mind your own business. <laughs> how about that? Right, Jeff? Well, how good of a friend was he? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how good of a friend was he. <laughs> what? Uh, All right. No. Oh, we're out of time? Yeah. Again? <laughs> Yeah, we got to do the commercial break. Do you want to do the commercial break? Hi, you do the commercial break while I read this very entertaining book. Okay. All right. Come back for more stuff. Hey, do you do you ever uh, do you ever go and see Louis Anderson when you're up in Vegas? Who is uh, be... never heard of him? Oh, no, really? <laughs> Yeah, he's he's the voice of Jeff. He's he's the personality of Jeff Peterson. I love the I love the Jeff today. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love you on the Price is Right. Thank you very much. Higher! Higher! <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? We had to add the cat escaping so that people wouldn't write in and say, Oh, you killed a cat. Yeah. <laughs> People love cats. Oh, they do. And the, the type of people who love cats will not hesitate in getting in touch with the no. broadcaster if they think a cat is being mistreated in any way. They are on it. You, can, you can't even mistreat a photograph of a cat. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's all that is. Yeah, that it's is a photograph a, of a cat. We didn't a actually cat. drop a weight on a cat. Yeah. It's a photograph of a weight falling on the photograph of a cat. But the first time we did it, people were like, Oh, I can't believe you did it on a cat! <laughs> Anyway, how did you have a nice time in the pod being the skeleton? Uh, the pod was great. Yeah. I love being in the pod. I love your show. You're a great, great host. Don't, don't, no, stop that. Drew Carey said all that. And I, no, but uh, I mean it, though. No, no, well, he didn't mean it? <laughs> hell? Hey, do you know what was weird? My mother-in-law being on the show. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? It, was it that, like, did you not know really what to say? Because what do you say? Well, you know, the thing is, I knew that she needed to be more embarrassed than me, because I've read the book, and there are, that nipple teeth thing is really in yeah, there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't know how to look at the woman. I mean, isn't it crazy? Your mother-in-law, and then you read that book, and you go, what? Yeah. And then you show your wife and go, this is your mother. Yeah. handy in an yeah, argument, yeah. though, you know. <laughs> like she goes, you didn't clean up the bathroom. I went, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I had my nipples in somebody's teeth. You know? <laughs> my favorite part is when she plugged her publicist. Yeah, what the hell? Like that. Like that. Uh, like that. They that's changed my like favorite that. thing, yeah. yeah. It's awesome that you were here, man. I love being here. Well, let's... I would like you just to get rid of that robot, and I'll just stand there. <laughs> I don't want you to get rid of the robot because no, no, I don't want to stand. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. My next guest is a very funny comedian. Phew, thank goodness that last. Uh, <laughs> He's uh, every, on every Tuesday through Saturday at the Louis Anderson Theatre at the Palace Station in Las Vegas. Please welcome the American comedy legend, Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. What a beautiful day it was, wasn't it? I almost went for a walk. <laughs> I came this close, and then I got to the front door, and I go, I don't really know this area. <laughs> You're always tricked. You to tell you where you walk. 
the moment you land at the Los Angeles Airport and Fitness Center. <laughs> I didn't think I'd make it to baggage, I'm telling you. People are betting on me, he's not gonna make it. He'll be on the carousel. I laid on the carousel once. Not on purpose. I just sat on the edge and then centrifugal force did the rest. I went around three times. Two people picked me up. Is this it? How about when the bags come down, you realize, oh my God, I bought the same bag as the rest of America. Luckily, I don't own any ribbon. <laughs> Last time I flew, they thought I was a terrorist. They thought I was a Taliban tubby. <laughs> you know, the nice one. <laughs> they always make you feel... First of all, I hate that maze at security. Even, even if it's empty, you've got to walk the entire maze. <laughs> Do you think we'll get cheese at the end of this? Wouldn't it be nice if there was cheese at the airport? <laughs> Get through security cheese, sir? <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Luckily, I have crackers in my pocket. <laughs> they make you feel bad, too, sometimes. Sir, over here in the humiliation area. <laughs> Let's get those shoes off. <laughs> or you're going to have to help me put them back on. <laughs> Wouldn't that be another good idea, shoe helper? Do it! Too tight. <laughs> Cheese and a shoe helper. You know, ho hopefully not the same person. <laughs> you know, and then they go through your stuff. You always think the same thing when people are digging through your stuff. That doesn't go there. <laughs> it worked out though, because I went, oh my God, I've been looking all over for that. My chapstick. <laughs> you always look a little nuts putting chapstick on, don't you? <laughs> I live in Vegas. A couple days in Vegas, you're chapstick and everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now they've started to scan us, which is a horrible thing for any man, at least. <laughs> They try to comfort us by saying, hey, don't worry about it. The people scanning you will be in another room. <laughs> of course they'll be in another room. Bill, come in here. <laughs> Make him go through again. Bill, come on. You'll feel better about yourself. <laughs> I'm just hoping to get a free MRI out of it. <laughs> How does my back look? Is it okay? Can you help me locate my chapstick? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. I love you, right back. Look right My next guest. I thought if I said it quietly, you wouldn't hear it. My next guest is a very funny comedian. He's a very, very funny comedian. He's got a new hour special, Big Baby Boomer, which premieres tomorrow, March the 6th, on the CMT. Please welcome the great Louie Anderson, everybody. Thank you. I uh, just was at buying some clothes, at the buying some clothes store. <laughs> I was just buying some clothes, and I realized if I get one more X on my clothing, <laughs> I'm next year's Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just never any good with dressing. I, even when I, just before I came out here, I looked at myself in the mirror and I go, what am I, performing at a children's party? <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked down at my shoes and I thought, is that the left foot or the right foot? I am one day from clown shoes. 
<laughs> and then I thought, when I, I said, is this black and blue? Did I wear blue pants again? Black and blue. And my brother goes, oh, you better not do that. <laughs> That's a fashion faux pas. Well, luckily, that's my clown name. So. And I got mad at my brother, and I do what all brothers do to each other. Tiny talk. You know what that is? Only other family members and cats can understand it. <laughs> Moms invented it at the grocery store. <laughs> I have a dog. Dogs are always great cats. I don't know, but dogs. <laughs> dogs are always happy to see you no matter what time you come home. Even if you come out of the door 10 times, in and out, in and out, they think you just got back. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Don't ever leave me again. <laughs> Let me lick you. <laughs> Cats don't care if you're home. Hey, Fluffy. <laughs> You know what cats are thinking? If I were bigger, I'd drag you under the bed. <laughs> cats love when you're big or you're fat. They love to do that elliptical on your stomach. <laughs> I only get on that elliptical machine when the sun and the moon Thanks, honey. <laughs> hey, come on, hey. come on. Sit down. <laughs> oh, you look great. I feel great. Yeah, you look great. I feel I, great. You know, those like, blue pants with a black shirt. I know shirt. it's oh, horrible. Yeah. I honestly, even when I'm outside, I go, is it? No, no. You even if it was, they're both black. They're they're. they're yeah, that's yeah. yeah, yeah I, I know, think yeah. they're the same. Yeah, I know they are. But in the lighting here, no one could. And tell no one knows. And, and no one cares. <laughs> they no, I I care oh, deeply God. about oh, fashion. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, see yeah. I can see that. I like your tie. It's very yeah. Vegas. Are you still yeah. in Vegas? You're in Vegas I all am. the time. I am. I'm at yeah. the Palace Station. Yeah. I have fun over there. I love Vegas. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. You know, I mean, it wears on you a little bit. You well, know. you know, it depends. I don't take drugs anymore, so I... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny when you're young, you take drag, drug, or drags? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took drags and <laughs> drugs when I was young, yeah. Drags or drugs? Yeah. Drags or drugs? I'll have both! Uh, oh, drag! <laughs> <laughs> when you get older, all the words aren't available. No, I know. <laughs> Does the Ace of Diamonds hold any particular significance to you? Is it a name you perhaps danced under? <laughs> that was my first stage name. Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Yeah. And then Silly Putty. <laughs> I like I like fashion faux pas. I think that's very yeah, yeah no, that's good. Thank you. you enjoy the I work? did that actually, you know, just to be honest, uh, that's the kind of joke I did for you. Cause not all people would like appreciate that like another comedian would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You know, every comedian writes jokes in their act for other comedians. That's true, that's true. And many times I come out here and I uh, perform the monologue and think, well, that was one for the comedian. <laughs> This is a great crowd. Though. Very this big a crowd great tonight. Crowd. Whoa, I can hardly deal with it. It's, I mean, because it's not off. Usually the crowds here are terrible. These people are obviously. <laughs> uh... yeah, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Ah. You ever get any bad crowds up there in Vegas? You ever get a crowd oh and you think, God. oh, you know, Wednesdays are rough. Wednesdays are rough. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. Did you ever do a matinee there on a Wednesday? I have never done a matinee. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it rough? You've done a matinee? Matinee on a Wednesday? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> What's the roughest before? crowd you ever played? Uh, biker bar. <laughs> really? Yeah. The guy introduced me. He goes, now, you're going to love him. It's Lovey Anderson. 
and you just go, I'm not going to do well. No. Many, many comedians it's would struggle in a biker bar, yeah. though. I, 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 they like me, though. They. Oh, you're funny. Yeah, later they were. Oh, well, they, <laughs> that's how you know. Why does that always work? Why does that? Because it's funny. Because it's a funny thing, then cats do do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. And if they will, they will get on, they'll... Yeah, yeah. And then they look at you. Like, yeah. You uh, better not move. Yeah. No, I don't think it's that. I think it's more gonna... You like that? <laughs> you like that? Yeah. 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 Huh? yeah, uh, yeah how's uh, that? Uh, 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 how's uh, that? Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah. Any, any change on you? Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, time. Well, uh, Louis, we're out of time here. So, uh, what are you thinking? Are you thinking mouth organ? Are you thinking uh, awkward pause? Or you want to go for the big cash prize? Big cash prize. <laughs> Big cash prize, two ways to win. You can okay. either uh, you can either guess what's in my box. Uh, I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff Peterson knows what's in the box. You guess correctly, you win the prize. You guess wrong, uh, or you can answer a question. I'm gonna. Can I guess what's in the box? You sure? I want. I should. Yeah. Okay. All right then, uh, Jeff. You ready? Oh yeah. All right then. <laughs> Jeff, I'm uh, I'm thinking of a box. Mm. <laughs> Why? Will you stop making it all suggestive? I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build tension. I'm trying to build te I'm game just show tension. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, focused. No, you're ruining it. That's you're ruining my whole tension thing. You make you're making a fool of me in front of Louis. He's a great comedian. You're making a fool of me, man. I'll rub down your belly after the show. You talking to me or uh, does it doesn't matter <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> i'm imagining a box okay the box is there there's something in it i don't know what it is look <laughs> jelly donut <laughs> jeff is it a jelly donut the correct answer is jelly donut <laughs> He's headlining at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas beginning July the 10th. Please welcome the great Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, uh, a little under the weather, I got a sciatica problem. Uh, that's not a Pacino movie. <laughs> I, uh, sciatica, I don't know if you what it is, but it's a pain that's here. That goes straight to hell. <laughs> so, I was on pain pills, but uh, I couldn't find my way home. <laughs> so my friend said, why don't, you, uh, why don't you get some medical marijuana? I said, because I don't need another reason to be hungry. <laughs> you know, my friend smoked marijuana, I get the munchies. But, you know, I did think about it, and I live in Vegas, so I called Elvis's doctor. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, man. Okay. So I got it, but you now in Vegas, they'll give you the plants, and you have to grow it yourself. I can't even keep a fern alive. But I have had a few friends offer to help me. I'll do it for you, Louie. I'm a botanist. <laughs> I go, I never really liked smoking marijuana, not because of the marijuana, but because of the guy who rolled the joint. <laughs> there you go, Louis. Does anybody have a hair dryer? And then I could never smoke it like everyone else. Everybody else had a real good way of smoking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they pass it to me here, Louie. <laughs> so he said, well, why don't you just get some edibles then? Isn't that a Disney movie? <laughs> he goes, no. Like candy or cookies or 
Brownies. Could I get two scoops of the Ben and Jerry's Utopia? <laughs> I would like to get the card, though. The medical marijuana card. Everyone wants a card that someone else doesn't have. What is that? Oh, uh, that's my medical marijuana card. <laughs> Remember when you scoffed at my sciatica problem? <laughs> well, my doctor didn't. And look at the expiration on it. Infinity. That's how much pain I'm in. You know, it would be fun, though, you know, just to taunt my friends. What are you doing? Uh, it's my medical marijuana. You haven't even lit, lit it. I'm taunting you. And I would love to get pulled over by the police, you know, and have the card, because that would be good. Hey, why were you going so slow? Oh, here's my medical marijuana card, officer. You notice the expiration? <laughs> Is that a marijuana cigarette in the ashtray? Yes, sir. You can't smoke marijuana and drive. It's never been lit, sir. It's there in case I have an accident. <laughs> what? Well, let's say I go over a cliff and I can't get out of the car. I light that thing up, share it with the bear that's trying to kill me. <laughs> he gets hungry, gets us a salmon. <laughs> Thank you very much. My dear, my dear. Oh, it's lovely to see you, pal. Louis Anderson, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Louis. We'll be right back. We were just talking. You you uh, you lost a little weight, right? Yes, I was on uh, Splash, and um, that's the dive show where that you. That was the you, dive yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty big splash. Yeah, it was yeah. Pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun, actually. You yeah. Know, it was such, so much. You fun. did good. I did pretty good. Yeah. You know, like I got up. I did the ten meter. That was my goal. Right. And uh, that's three stories, thirty three yeah. feet into seventeen feet of water. I wouldn't do that. Uh, well, you don't have to. No, I, uh, I'm not gonna. No, I, I really. It was. It was really good. It changed my. You know, it got me. Like I. You know, when I got the show, I was just sitting around. It got me off the couch. You know, and that's really what I needed what, to do. So. What were you doing on the couch? I was just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a TV on or not on? Sometimes. Yeah. What do you watch on the TV when you got it on? Food Network. Food Network. <laughs> do you no, like you know, I watch. I like the reality shows. I like some. Uh, what ones? Well, storage wars. Oh man, I I can't do that. You can't one. do it. Uh, is, that the, is that the hoarders one? Oh no, I can't watch that. Yeah, that's yeah. too much. Yeah. We, my mom was a pack rat, but we had aisles. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> you know what? At one time, honestly, I used to be a little bit of a pack rat, and I had five storage spaces. Louis, why? I don't know, because I couldn't throw anything out. You know, yeah. yeah. Come from a big family, and you just. So one time Wait I was, a minute, that, what kind of excuse is that? I don't know. It's, I come from a big family, so I'm keeping all my stuff? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's true. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but I was watching Storage Wars one night, and I went, that's my stuff. I you, called I, my, honestly, I, thought, I called my manager. I go, did I ever live in Cerritos? <laughs> it's really true. I thought it was my stuff. And, and was it your stuff? No. Oh, okay. God. So someone out there is pretending to be you by having your stuff. <laughs> well, it was a giant popcorn machine that I had bought. I know. I don't know why I bought a giant popcorn. Well, if used... you want to have giant popcorn, it's the only way, yeah, isn't it? True. They were this big, each kernel. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know. How did you lose the weight? What did you do? Uh, well, you know, on Splash, they started. They had me doing work, strength and strengthening exercises because you got to build your core for the diving. Right. And you know when you, I mean really, you can, it's, it's more work than you think. Yeah, I believe and, you. And then I took that and I kept working out in the pool and I've been doing, you know, a lot You're of... still doing it? You I'm keep still it working out in the pool. Good for I, you. What do you do? Um, I do, I walk against the vortex. 
There's a there's a vortex. In there's the a pool? vortex in the pool. You should maybe call an exorcist or something. <laughs> I just keep looking. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. This is the heart of the house. <laughs> <laughs> this is the selling point. Um, so you you know the vortex. You walk. You swim against it, but I can't swim against it yet. But I walk against it. Wow. And so I do ten laps against the vortex, and sometimes I fall back and. Then I just go around a while, but <laughs> it's really true because it's so much fun because you're just going around and around and there's something joyful because I float well mm. and there's something, it's true though. I mean, I've always been buoyant and... You have a buoyant personality yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bouncy. And, um, and I go around, but then I do that and then I do a hundred squats in the pool. Wow. Because I can't do that outside of it. I could do a few. Right. But, you know, before I did Splash, I could not barely get off the couch without help. Really? And so that really, it really gave so me... So are you going to keep at it now? Are you going I to am. My it? goal, I'm under 400 pounds. My goal now is to get under 300 pounds. Well, good luck to you. Good luck to you. All the best. Louis Anderson, everybody. We'll be right back. Show. My next guest is a very funny comedian. He headlines at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. He will also be in Burnsville Performing Arts Center in Minnesota on New Year's Eve. Please welcome the adorable Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, uh, I just got done working out and. Um, <laughs> I know people always laugh, but I really do work out. <laughs> and my trainer said, I need a, a fitness goal. And I go, oh, all right. He goes, what about this? Kilimanjaro. <laughs> the mountain? <laughs> yeah, you climb it. <laughs> I've never heard a good story come out of there. <laughs> Louis took a left, now he's a frozen monument. <laughs> the climbers high-five him as they go by for luck. <laughs> There's less air up there. I can barely get by on the air I have here. <laughs> when I fly over Denver, I'm lightheaded. <laughs> and then my other friends, they all, people must think I'm outdoorsy, because the next thing, Louie, we want you to go on a safari with us. <laughs> what? <laughs> to the Kalahari. I've had calamari. <laughs> Is it anything like that? <laughs> We're gonna sleep out with the wild animals. Oh, no. <laughs> no, because if a lion gets in there and then people run, guess who's cut from the herd? <laughs> Those big paws grabbing my butt. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> then my other friend said, well, let's go camping at least. Uh, are there bears? <laughs> yes, I do not want to be zipped up in a bag <laughs> so the bear can just take me home. <laughs> Did you get enough berries, Betty? Oh, I got a frozen dinner. That's going to last me two years. And then, and then, they sa I said, well, you know, I'm worried about bears. I'll be honest, they go, well, just play dead. Well, that's fine when they're around your feet, but when they get up around your neck, <laughs> that tickles, that tickles, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Stop it! Anyways, when I go camping, the bears put their food up in the trees. <laughs> oh, thank you all so much! Happy holidays! I'm good, man. Come on, negative. Oh. Louis, Louis. Isn't Demi Lovato 
sweet. She's lovely, isn't she? A oh. lovely girl she is. And what is. a great name. It sounds like a Demetria appetizer. Lovato. Actually, I know. to me, it sounds like an appetizer. <laughs> Can I get the Demi Lovato on toast? Hey! <laughs> No, too soon? Yeah. What do you mean, too soon? She's still in the uh, building. No, sorry. <laughs> Demi, I'm sorry. Yeah, She's yeah. very nice. Very we have nice. to take a break. We'll be right back. Okay. We'll look at Anderson. We'll be right back. I'm here with a fantastic comedian, Louis Anderson. Do you ever been nominated for a Grammy for one of your? Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've always wanted to. Well, I uh, got beat up uh, for the Ace Award by uh, Bill Maher. Bill Maher? The old Ace Award. What was the Ace Award? Oh, Cable Ace. That was the Cable yeah, yeah, Ace yeah, yeah. Awards. Yeah, and yeah. I, well, I won two Emmys, but you know who's talking. <laughs> Hey, uh, I saw you in Jacksonville. We were both yeah, in Jacksonville in Florida. in Florida. Yeah, I ran into you at the we Hotel Breakfast. We were the youngest breakfast. people in Florida. Yeah, no, by a long way. I know. I, we were at the, the, uh, the breakfast uh, yeah, bar. Yeah, we went to the breakfast bar. We had fairly healthy. You were very healthy. You had oatmeal. Yeah. Did I? You remember my food? <laughs> I remember everybody's food. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, didn't, I, I, had I had a cup of coffee and, uh, and some oatmeal, yeah. yeah what, did, what did you have then? Two poached eggs, soft, and toast. That's pretty healthy. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's okay. You still yeah. doing your get off the couch thing? I am. I, I'm, I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, I think it's that same bee arch yeah, that did that yeah, thing yeah, earlier on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, I'm still doing the get off the couch. We just walked, uh, at, we walk one o'clock every Saturday wherever I am. Right. And so even when I was up in Canada, it was 40 below. You went out for a walk for it below? You well, could die doing that. Well, I walked around the house. You, wa you walked around the house indoors? Yeah, I said, hey, can I come in your house? So you just walked up to people's houses and said, can I come said, in your yes. house? I, I'm Louis Anderson, I promise. I said, I'm freezing to death. Uh, well, Canadians are very friendly. They're, they are the friendliest they are people so in the world. Did you, That's you, the Minnesotans. Well, they are quite close to them. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, what about that? You said you were going to play some place in northern Canada when I saw I you. I went to Saskatoon. What a great... Saskatoon, Isn't yeah. Isn't that please. a wonderful name? Yeah, Saskatoon. Oh, my. Another that's entree. A, that sounds like... Can I'll, I get the Saskatoon? I'll have the, I'll have the... He's having the Demi Lovato. I'm having the Saskatoon. Right. Yeah. And they won the Grey Cup. Yeah, the, I was up there during the Grey Cup. Oh, great. Yeah. I thought it was a gravy cup. That's a... You can't. I know that joke didn't work up there either. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Well, Ma'am, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't encourage him. It's lovely yeah. to see you, my friend. It's nice to see you. Still, you're, what are you doing? You're, you're playing on New Year's Eve. I'm on New Year's Eve. Uh, I've done it since since 1990. This is our 13th year. It was kind of a tribute to my mom. She died in '90. Right. And she loved, you know, what I did. So, so you you go and do that no. New Year's Eve. Well, so New Year's where Eve. Where is it again? In, in, Minas in Minneapolis at the Burnsville Performing Arts Center. Well, uh, go and see Louis there if you happen to be around. Louis Anderson, everybody, we've got to go. Say goodnight, Louis. Good night, everybody. My next guest is a very funny comedian. Very funny comedian. The funniest comedian in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Louis. <laughs> His new po uh, podcast is available on iTunes. You can see him every week at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome the adorable Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, what a great crowd! What a great crowd. Thank you. It's so loud. <laughs> I was in a nightclub in Vegas. You never, have you been to the new nightclubs where there's 8,000 people? You can never find anyone. <laughs> I'll make you back back. <laughs> it's so loud and people get so drunk now. <laughs> you know that drunk where 
you just have had too much, but you just keep ordering. <laughs> hey, one more. <laughs> you know that drunk where you turn into a wrestler? <laughs> you know that one? Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know that drunk where you should be falling down, but your inner gyroscope has taken over? And you're sure somebody's going to fall. They have spotters by them. <laughs> and you think they're going to go, but they get straight to Amor, right? <laughs> I have never been that drunk. <laughs> I've been that full. <laughs> been that full. <laughs> been that full. <laughs> You know where you've eaten that 10,000 calorie meal that isn't even on a Weight Watchers chart? <laughs> you know, where you just sit there and you go, oh, <laughs> oh, woo. <laughs> they should lay down. <laughs> and then when you're done with the meal, they try to give you some more. They come over, you want to hear the desserts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We got creme brulee. I don't eat anything I can't spell. We got lava cake. Seems dangerous. And you know you're going to hear them all. And then sometimes they surprise you. We got Mitchell's ice cream. Yeah? And they say Mitchell's like it's not just any Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell's ice cream, that Mitchell. <laughs> and it's good, you know, they hand make it. They make it with their hands. <laughs> they fold the ice cream. I didn't know you could fold ice cream. <laughs> they fold it? And they only make so much every day. Well, yeah, I suppose their hands are so cold. <laughs> so. <laughs> are you okay, Bill? Oh. I was at Mitchell's. I just got, it's my first day. My phone doesn't work back here. Do you ever have that where you panic a little? My phone. I go, what's, something's wrong with it. I was taking a selfie with Julie, and I go, geez, my phone froze up. Oh, and my phone friend wasn't around. You know that thing where when a phone doesn't work, you have that one friend that knows stuff <laughs> about phones, right? That OB phone Kenobi. <laughs> Here's my phone, OB phone Kenobi. <laughs> You should never do words like that over 50. When you're over 50, Obi phone Kenobi. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and they take your phone and they scold you. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Look at this. You've got everything open in here. <laughs> do I? Look, if that's open, that shouldn't be open. That shouldn't be open. And they go into a shame thing. That shouldn't be open. Why do you have that open? <laughs> have you backed this up? <laughs> do you even know how to back it up?
good. We're on, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, welcome back. I'm here uh, with Louis Anderson. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, what a I great mean, audience, huh? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for better next week. Yeah. yeah. I like how you say better. Better. It's better. better. That's you feeling I, better? That's why I talk like Louis. I know. That's why I talk like oh, I'm not on the television. Oh, I'm like, hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Have you ever been to Scotland? I have not. I've been to, uh, uh, I think it was, uh, was it Ireland maybe? I don't know. <laughs> me saying, have you ever been to America? No, but I've been to Canada. What the? That's similar, though. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You're true. right. I love Scotland. I watch uh, Game of Thrones. Isn't that all shot there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, I had to give up my dragons when I came into America. <laughs> I saw... Do you like the Game of Thrones? There. I love the I Game love of Thrones. I love the Game oh, of Thrones. Man. It's not good. You just, you just go, oh, I should have lived uh, then. No, I no. Oh. No, yeah, there was too much been, stabbiness. Oh, yeah, you're right. A lot of stabby. Yeah, you know, yeah. I don't yeah. know, but a lot of boobies. So yeah. there's that. Yeah. Stabbies and boobies. Stabbing and boobies. You know what's, uh, what's so great about it is you can disappear in it, and it's like the, you know, boobies? in the, in, the <laughs> in some. Yeah, in yeah. Some, yeah. That's called a in mine. Boat. You yeah. can get lost <laughs> in these. These are, you know, choice. <laughs> You're looking good, actually. You've, I am. Uh, you dropped I'm, a little bit, haven't you? You know, I have. I've been working really hard. I, uh, I, you know, I quit eating bread was the first thing. Mm. But I love bread, you know. I well, you got to quit eating it, though, if it's making you I heavy. Know. Yeah, I mean, I, this is all toast. <laughs> <laughs> got, this is buttermilk in here. <laughs> this is fat back bacon, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Well, buddy, we uh, gotta go. Uh, oh, that's sorry. It. Yeah, it's all right. I, uh, I just want to say, you know, I've been on here about six or seven times, seven, I think, and you've treated me so great. Well, you're a nice thank man. Thank you. But you're really, you've been really great to me. Thank you. Well, thank you. I know you don't like this stuff, though. Well, yeah, it's everybody here. We gotta go. Good night. Gin and juice, maybe. Yeah, Something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, gin and juice.